think one thing I would love to say to my dad is, like everything jumps through my head of like, oh, I always say this and this and this and this. Um, probably the most important thing is thank you. A uh, memory that comes to mind that I like so much is he took me out of school one day when I was about 12 to go see the San Francisco Giants play. That was a breakthrough. To miss school, to see baseball, taught me that my dad had priorities. <laughs> and that was, it was so fun. He was such a man that devoutly sought the Lord. And what that looked like growing up was that I just, I knew in the mornings my dad was going to be in the living room with his Bible and probably his third cup of coffee when I got up. My dad was unique in a way, only because he was a middle kid of 20, born in 1915, and then my mom and dad also had 11 kids, and I was the last one of 11. We would, it was kind of like a daddy-daughter date kind of thing we would do, and we still do it to this day, and we would go to car shows. And he, I would just see him come alive looking at these old vintage cars. And it was so fun because it was quality time and we were just doing something that he was passionate about and loved to do. We've done that ever since I was little. Uh, my dad's name is uh, Jeff, Jeffrey. And Jeffrey uh, means divinely peaceful. And if there's anyone in life who I think exemplifies peace and patience, it's, it's my dad. My life is forever been changed and it will forever be changed by these type of figures, the, the, the fathers in my life that, that uh, you know, not only my biological father who, who, who literally I came out of, I'm, I'm flesh of his flesh, bone of his bone, but, but just those that have nourished my soul, my spirit, and have nourished my mind and my, and, and I, 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 I want to do the same thing. Everything he did, I watched. Like I watched the way he shot a basketball. I watched the way he, um, ate his hot dog with mustard only. You know, I watched the way he, um, way he didn't like onions, and so I didn't like onions. Um, but most importantly, my dad inspired me to dream. He was a real champion in the area of worship, and so he char charted a course for us, a lifestyle. Uh, it wasn't the warm-ups to a, a message. It wasn't something to just give time so that everybody could get into the room. It was the priority, and. Uh, we may miss something in a meeting, but we're not gonna miss that. I think that any time that I see heaven shining through a father, I'm inspired. I'm like, wow, that person is being in a place of heaven or seen a, a part of the heart of the Lord that I have yet to see. One thing I always wanted to pass on to my sons and my grandkids is to love the Lord with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, all your strength. Dad, you're my hero. Dad, I love you so much. Uh, there's no one I'd rather spend time with. I was watching. Thanks.